Girls are capable of doing everything men are capable of doing. Sometimes they have more imagination than men. I'm just lucky, the Lord likes me and I like him. Like what you do, and then you will do your best. I don't have a feeling of inferiority. Never had. I'm as good as anybody, but no better. In math, you're either right or you're wrong. I counted everything. I counted the steps to the road, the steps up to church, the number of dishes and silverware I washed. Anything that could be counted, I did. They just said, if she says it's right, it's right, because the guys didn't do the work. I did it. We always worked as a team. It's never just one person. I see a picture right now that's not parallel, so I'm going to go straighten it. Things must be in order. All jobs are important to somebody. They had to be important to somebody. My theory is, do the best you can all the time. No fooling around. Once you took the first step, anything was possible. It's not every day you wake up with a mission in your mind, but I had a mission and I was determined to accomplish it. Many professors tell you that you'd be good at this or that, but they don't always help you with that career path. We needed to be assertive as women in those days, assertive and aggressive, and the degree to which we had to be that way depended on where you were. I had to be. If you attack the problem right, you'll get the answer. As a young girl, Catherine loved to count. She counted everything. She would count the number of steps she took to the road. Catherine loved to learn. She loved learning math the most. Catherine went through school quickly. She started high school when she was just 10 years old. When Catherine was 34, she heard that NACA, later called NASA, was hiring African-American women to solve math problems. These workers were called computers. Catherine applied for one of the jobs, but the jobs were already taken. Still, she did not give up. She applied again the next year, and this time NACA hired her. She worked with a large group of women who were all computers like she was. What did she do for NASA? Catherine studied how to use geometry for space travel. She figured out the paths for the spacecraft to orbit, go around Earth and to land on the moon. NASA used Catherine's math, and it worked. NASA sent astronauts into orbit around Earth. Later, her math helped send astronauts to the moon and back. NASA could not have done these things without Katherine Johnson and her love for math. Katherine Johnson, Coleman, August 26, 1918 to February 24, 2020 was an American mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics as a NASA employee were critical to the success of the first and subsequent U.S. crewed space flights. During her 33-year career at NASA and its predecessor, she earned a reputation for mastering complex manual calculations and helped pioneer the use of computers to perform the tasks. The Space Agency noted her historical role as one of the first African-American women to work as a NASA scientist.